Hey guys, it's Meredith here, and today I'm here with the Harvest Plaid page kit for Not Just For Boys Kit Club. And I'm gonna show you how to put together that double page layout, but first I'm gonna show you what you're gonna get in your kit. So the first thing you're gonna get is Simple Stories, Simple Stories Harvest Market Bits and Pieces. There's 55 pieces of ephemera in there. They're all fall themed, pretty cute. You're going to get a set of mindful um, foam letter thickers from American Crafts. There's a lot of letters on there. You'll be able to use them for lots of layouts. You're gonna get a pack of um, two pumpkins and two sunflowers uh, appliques from Not Just For Boys. And then the following papers. This is the Simple Stories Harvest Market Hello Autumn paper. And the Simple Stories Harvest Market Harvest Season paper. And Simple Stories Harvest Market Market Day paper. So A side and the B side. And then two sheets of white cardstock. So after you, and you're also going to get a page of instructions in your page kit. And on the back of the instructions are cutting guides and they tell you exactly how to trim down these papers. So I'm going to go off camera and do that and I will be right back. Alrighty guys, I'm back and I cut everything and I wanted to start out by saying you have two sheets of this white paper in your kit. This sheet right here, you may use or you may not use. Um, what I did is this piece that came out of, like we gutted the 12 by 12 piece of this. I'm gonna use this piece to mat my photos on but if you have too many photos to, to mat that they don't fit on this little piece, you're gonna wanna use this white paper instead to mat your photos and maybe ink the edges teal. So that's an option, or you could do a combination, mat some photos on this and some photos on this. So that's why you've got an extra sheet of white paper in your kit. So on my video, you will know on my videos that I use white cardstock to represent the photos that I have for my layout. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna mat these smaller three by four photos on this um, plaid paper. So what I do actually, I start out with three by four photos, but I trim two sides down a quarter of an inch. So I trim a quarter of an inch off this side and a quarter of an inch off this side. And that will make the photos actually be three and three quarters inches by two and three quarters inches. And it just makes it a lot easier for matting purposes because then I can come in here and I can cut evenly on this paper, three inch by four inch rectangles, and then they will just mat super easily. Um, they will fit just perfect to mat your photos. So all of these rectangles that I'm cutting right now are three inches by four inches. And then I will just, this is an extra one, so I'm gonna set it off to the side, and I will just quickly mat my photos on those. And if you can tell, see, it just gives it a nice mat when I trim the photos down ever so slightly to fit them on the photo mats. Okay, and we've got all these photos matted, and then we're gonna take this five by seven photo. And again, you are more than welcome to use that extra sheet of white paper that is in your kit to do this part. It might be a little bit easier than what I'm gonna show you here, but I really wanted to mat this picture on the orange plaid paper, but there is not enough, um, there was not enough orange plaid paper. So I just cut strips and I'm basically going to like frame my picture. I'll show you what I mean. So if this is too much for you and you're just thinking like, oh, I don't like that look or I don't wanna do this, I would definitely use the white paper, the extra sheet of white paper that I showed you and mat this and then maybe ink the edges orange. You could also leave them white because they are going to go on like a patterned paper. So it's no harm leaving it with a white mat. But I, I realized that these are really long, which is fine because I'm gonna come in here and miter the corners. So if you don't wanna frame out your photo like this, just skip this part. But if you do, 
just tape adhere those to the top and cut at an angle and it will look like a mitered corner on all four corners which is also very finished and polished looking so I did not mind doing this to my layout okay so now that photo has a mat around it a frame around it and I like the look of that with the mitered corners okay what is stuck here to my work surface okay moving on so this this piece we're going to use on the second page so I'm just going to put it off to the side here so now let's work on the left hand side so starting with the left hand side you're going to start with the paper that you've matted and then you've got a second sheet of white cardstock. You're gonna trim it down a half of an inch off of two sides. So it's gonna trim down to 11 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches. And that way, you're going to see the pretty orange mat all the way around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that. Okay. And then we've got this piece that we had gutted out of the middle and we trimmed a little bit out. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I am just going to cut out literally every single one of these hexagons. Um, I'm not gonna do this all on camera, I will spare you, but I'm going to use most of these hexagons on this layout and the ones that are extra that I don't use, I figure I will use as scraps to make another layout. So I'm just gonna start here and I'm just gonna start cutting out right in between there's like a little gutter of white between each hexagon on here so i'm going to just trim right into the center of this gutter of white and i'm going to do this for all these hexagons i will do this off camera so i will be right back when i get them all cut while i'm cutting them i'm going to lay them out in the approximate place that they're going to end up on this layout because i don't want to um be fumbling all around through, I don't know how many are here, 30 or 40 hexagons. So I am just going to approximately lay them out where they belong here when I am cutting. So when you come, when I come back on camera, they're all gonna be down one side of this layout. Alrighty guys, so I've got everything sort of laid out. This hexagon right here was a whole hexagon. I cut it in half. And this hexagon right here was a whole hexagon. And I'm going to cut the top, a little bit of the top off. It's gonna go down there. And the bottom is gonna go right here. Not that you don't have plenty of others that you didn't use, so you can always substitute out, but I just wanted those colors on there. So what I'm going to start to do is I'm gonna start at the very bottom and I'm going to start adhering these down. I am going to want to leave a little space between each one. So you kind of want to lay them out pretty closely to where they're going to adhere down. So you get everything in the right place with the right spacing going all the way up your layout. Um, these that are hanging off the edge, you're going to want to trim them right to the points. like because that's where it's gonna butt up on the edge right there. Same with this one. You're gonna wanna trim straight down to the points. And if you would prefer to just get these all laid out first and then go trim off what's hanging over, you could do that. It's a little bit difficult to do that though because we've already got this white um, paper adhered down to the layout. little bit so once you get one one strip like from top to bottom adhered down then it makes the spacing easier to get all the other um, hexagons so if you just get this first one that goes all the way up to the side kind of placed out then you can just go back in and add in the next line the next line down the next line down and your spacing is good so i am going to turn off the camera and finish adhering these down and i will be right back all 
Alrighty, so I have all of those adhered down. And the next thing I'm going to do is grab a glass mat. I'm gonna do a little mixed media here. And we're just gonna do a little bit of mixed media in the center here. And it's mostly gonna get covered by your photograph. The kit came with this um, Shimmers Spritz. And I will be honest with you, when I ordered this online, I thought it was a little more orange than what it was because the picture online looked a little bit more orange than this. This is very pink, um, but it still matches the um, papers really nicely. It's just more pink than I probably would have picked. And I'm just gonna dab a little using my packaging. You can also use a paintbrush to do this. And I'm just dabbing a little bit of color on the background. I mostly want it up at the top because the embellishments are gonna stick out at the top. And I want it to go through the middle so that you can see it behind where we lay our photos. But I don't necessarily need to ink up the entire background, but you could. But I think this is gonna show pretty well when I lay out my photos. I need a little more. And then I want a little bit at the bottom here behind this little embellishment cluster that's gonna go down at the bottom as well. And actually, while we're at it, so I don't have to get this out twice, I am going to add a little bit of uh, mixed media on this page too. I'm gonna to add some up here. And then I'm gonna add a little more right down here because that's gonna stick out. And like I said, you can apply this with a paintbrush or bubble wrap or just packaging like I am doing. Um, whatever mixed media technique you like, I would try it on a piece of scratch paper first to make sure it is the look that you like before just getting it on, especially on your pattern paper. But I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna leave this here for just a minute because I am gonna set out my photos and make sure that they, oh, there they are, they're underneath. And make sure that I got it in the right place. So when I do lay out my photos on this side, I'm gonna put one right here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect. And one right there. See how you can kind of see it in the little seams of the photos that's what I I wanted to make sure you could see it between the photos so I think I got it in all the right places so I am going to go ahead and pick up this glass mat because we're not going to need that again and now we can start adhering down these photos right exactly where we have them so I'll get these all adhered and as you can tell it didn't matter right here that this was cut because this photo is covering it up and I'm just going to leave a really tiny gutter between each photo so you can just barely see that pink coming through between the photos. So there's just a tiny little space between each photo. And then we can start with the embellishments and we have all sorts of goodies in the um, in the little ephemera pack that came in your kit. So we'll, we're gonna start with that. And I am going to start by pulling out what we're gonna use. Let's see, I know we used this on the other page. We'll look for both pages at once while we're here. And this is on the other page. This is on the other page. This goes on this side. This leaf. I believe goes down here. Those go up there. Hmm, I don't think I used that one. There's all kinds of these that I don't use, so there's plenty, this goes on the other page, to do more layouts after you finish this layout. You're gonna have so many embellishments left um, to go ahead and do more layouts, so that's always nice. This goes up here. Here, and I've got a couple little leaves. That one goes up there. This one's gonna go down here. This 
pumpkin goes on the other page. Just going through these with you because I think I'm almost done. Oops. Other page, other page. And then we'll be all ready over here with that everything that we need for that second side. I think this is it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back. And then I'm gonna grab one of our little pumpkins that we have, and I'm going to start adhering. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There is some scraps that you cut off of the paper that had the ledger on one side, and it's this side. And I'm gonna use two of these partial little signs. I'm going to use the one that says farm fresh pies, even though there's nothing about pies in my layout. The word pies kind of is going to get covered up when I adhere these down. And just farm fresh flowers. I'm going to use this one. And these are going to be little added extra embellishments in my cluster on this side. So I'm going to start adhering things down here. Uh, this one goes wedges right in there. And then you want to start thinking of a title for your layout because you have a whole amazing set of thickers. And it matches this, um, this paper line really well, even though they're not even the same manufacturer. And you're going to put a title right there using those thickers. So um, whatever you want your title to be. I named my title on my original layout that I made using actual photos. I named the title Hunter because that's my son's name. On this one, I'm just going to call it... Um, what should I call it? I think I'll just say autumn because it's the autumn season. So on this page, I'm just going to use the title autumn. This down here, I just used the word harvest. I didn't worry about the word season. And I adhered it down. Oh, I missed one of the little, um... I missed a little piece of ephemera, a little acorn. I have a little tiny acorn. Let me try if I see if I can find it. Oh, it's right here. Good. And then I went ahead with the truck here and I just popped the truck up on foam tape before I adhered it down to give it a little bit of um, variety and dimension there. And then that, oh, I will add the title here. So I'm going to add the title Autumn. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and I'll be right back. These thickers are a little tricky. They wanna to stick to the backing so you're really gonna have to peel them off. They're just a little tricky. I'm not sure why they're giving me that many problems. Usually I don't get problems like that with thickers. But these are just really sticky. So you've just gotta peel off kind of carefully. Okay, so this side is done and now we're gonna go I've got my title in there, and now we're gonna go work on the second side of the layout. Okay, so the second side of the layout, we're gonna start out with the plaid background, and we're going to adhere this, and we're gonna adhere it not exactly in the center because it's not the same exact, it's not a square, it's a rectangle. So we're gonna adhere it a little bit closer to the bottom. See, there's only about an inch at the bottom, but about an inch at the half at the top. So that is where we're gonna go ahead and adhere this down. 
because we're going to go in and add a little, um, another strip of paper across the top, you'll see. So, I've got this even right about there. And then we've got this strip and it's going to go across the top and it might not reach exactly, which is fine because the papers were not the exact, exact same width as one another. So you're going to want to trim it about three inches over and adhere that side down and then go ahead and adhere this side down so that it runs all the way to the ends. But there's a gap in the middle, which is fine because we're going to take this little hexagon that we cut. We're going to trim it across and we're going to adhere it right over that break. It's going to end up being an embellishment. We may as well do it right now while we're at this part. Okay. And then we've got our photograph. So and we've already made a frame around it. So we can go ahead and put the photograph down. Right about there. Okay. And now we've got a few more little hexagons that we're going to use here. We've got one that's going to go down here and one that's going to go over here. I'm not going to adhere them quite yet, but we are done with these. So I'm going to push them off the table. And we've got some flowers right here. The word fall. This little guy is going to stick out the side. This guy goes up there. I'm just getting things approximately laid out to where they're going to land here. And then we've got some more of our um, appliques. This is it for this layout. Yep, and I'm gonna go ahead and start adhering all of these things down. I'll start in the very back, the back layer, and just work my way forwards. And I am gonna pop up this word fall on foam tape, because I, you know, Oh, I like things on dimension. I am just using a tiny bit of tape right now in this video. I'm not, I would normally put a lot more on the back. But to make this go quicker, I'm just gonna put a little. And then I can start adhering all of these pieces. And the only other piece that I'm gonna use foam tape on is the um, this orange pumpkin right there. Because I want him to pop up too. And when I put my date on my layout, I stamped my date on this um, on this little hexagon piece right there because I thought it was the perfect little mat to add a date to. And then I just got to get these guys down. Let's see. Come on. And then what I use to adhere the um, appliques, because they're fabric, and I like to use Eileen's Tacky Glue to hold fabric down. Um, I think it, it holds pretty quickly. Like I don't have to sit there and let it dry forever. So that's why I like to use the Eileen's Tacky Glue for everything that is like a textile on my layouts. So I'll just put a little bit. Woo, that was a lot. That was a lot, lot. Um, a little on that. And on these two, I'm just gonna put it around what the part that sits on the paper. Like the leaves don't sit on the paper, or the petals don't sit on the paper. It's just this edge that sits on the paper. And then 
Oh, we got one more leaf here. Move those a little. And sometimes on those, on these two guys right here, I have to set something slightly heavy on top of it while it's drying or my hand to make sure that it's um, adhering to the layout. So you could either set something heavy on it, hold your hand there on it until it adheres. But this wraps up the video to make this double page spread. And as you could tell, this looks great together, you know, as a double page spread, but you could also just have this be two single page layouts in your album. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you one more thing. I did put in the thickers, I put the year down here. So whatever the year is, I'm just gonna put 2023 for now. Um, whatever the year is of your pictures, you can just put that at the bottom right down there. Um, so we have a Facebook group called Not Just For Boys Kit Club Community, and you can join our Facebook group and you can share your layout that you made with, um, with this kit and you can see what other people had made their layouts that they made with this kit. We love seeing them. Also in that Facebook group, our design team, actually all of our social media, our Facebook group, our, um, Instagram page and our blog, our design team makes unique layouts using this kit. So they're not gonna make the same one that I made. They make unique layouts um, using the exact same supplies that you have if you don't wanna make this exact layout. So you can get inspiration from them, but I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.